Hello guys and welcome back to Aviation Made Easy. This is your go-to channel for simplifying complex aviation topics. In today's video, I'll be diving into procedure terms. I'll start by explaining what they actually are and its importance in aviation. Then I'll walk you through a step-by-step -step procedure of how to fly a procedure term. If you find this content to be helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more aviation insights. Let's get started. So procedure turns. A procedure turns is a IFR maneuver that allows an aircraft to reverse its direction to establish itself on an inbound course for landing or navigation purposes if you are training. Now, but Think of it more as a U-turn in the sky. This maneuver is used when an airplane needs to change its direction while maintaining a safe separation from obstacles and ensuring proper alignment for the next phase of flight, especially done on instrument approaches. Now, it's a IFR maneuver that requires a bit of practice, and like I mentioned before, it's gonna safely put you on the final approach course so you can land the aircraft on the airport. Now, when we talk about procedure turns, ATC doesn't really care which one you do. There are many types of uh, techniques to perform and you actually uh, get to choose how you fly them, which one uh, you feel more comfortable with. There's the famous 80260 uh, procedure turn. It does require a bit of math and when you're flying everything shrinks a little more especially the brain so try to choose one that's more simple to do there's the base turn there's the racetrack procedure the most commonly one would be the 45 180 degree procedure turn and um, it's most flight schools will normally perform them but you can choose as long as you can fly one of them to a high standard so there's no problem just make sure that if you decide to do any, do it on the correct um, direction that will be depicted on the approach chart. Now, I'm not going to go over all of them, but you cannot really fly a procedure turn when stated otherwise um, on a straight in approach. Uh, there's a bunch of things that you could look up to, but I'm not going to go over these today. We're just going to briefly describe where they are and now we will do an exercise. Alright guys, now we're going to look everything into more detail. We will only be looking at the 45 180 degree procedure turn. Why this one? Well first of all it's the most popular one, it's the most commonly used and there's a very good chance that you may be asked to perform one on your check ride. Now, what does this consist of? Just a bit of math, nothing uh, out of the blue. It's actually given in the name, it's the 45 180 degree turn. Pretty self-explanatory. To keep everything simple for this, this example, we're gonna orientate ourselves with the 360 radio. So we're gonna pretend we're gonna be intercepting the 360 radio from the station. And we're gonna start at section A. This is where we are going to be flying approximately a two minute leg to reach section B. Now, when we reach section B, we're going to perform the famous five uh, T's. So the first thing we do, uh, it's what the title of this procedure is, uh, mentioned, is to turn 45 degrees to the left. So if we're flying a 360 heading, we will be turning left to fly to section C on a 315 heading. And that's the first T, which is turn. Then we're gonna time a one minute leg on this uh, particular procedure. We will then twist our inbound course, especially if, if you are doing an, an instrument approach procedure, to 180 degrees and then we throttle now if you need to adjust your power setting because you could be losing a bit of altitude or you're not flying at the corresponding speed make sure you do so and talk just let atc know of your intentions now when we reach section c after one minute we are going to turn to section d at a standard rate 180 degree turn 
So by the time we reach uh, section D, which should be approximately one minute, we will be flying the reciprocal heading, which will be one, three, five degrees on this particular section right here. Now, technically speaking, from section D to section E, we're only going to fly this at a 45 uh, second leg. Now, it's very important to take into consideration if you're flying the procedure turn as part of your initial approach uh, procedure, you would actually begin this turn at your discretion. What do I mean by this? After passing the outbound leg uh, stated on your uh, chart, you will watch or keep an eye on your CDI and deflection if it comes alive so that you roll out on the inbound course at the specific uh, time because you could have a bit of tailwind which uh, this 45 seconds uh, won't really apply and that's it after 45 seconds you're gonna uh, notice that your CDI will be coming alive you intercept your inbound course of 180 degree turn and then you if you're flying an instrument procedure you just continue with your procedure until you reach your minimums now we'll look at this uh, similar example on a simulator so it makes more sense. Alright guys, we will be doing the exact same thing, only this time it will be done with this really cool simulator you can find on the Apple Store. It's completely free and a good training device. Anyways, so we are currently intercepted on the 058 radio from the station we will be applying our procedure turn, the one that we just uh, saw earlier on, at the 5DME. Now, I'm gonna unfreeze the simulator. First thing we do, always fly ahead of the airplane. Let's put our first turn to the left, which will be a 45 degree turn. Now, notice how you can use the 45 marks to identify that turn if you don't wanna do the math. Also, make sure you have some kind of um, stopwatch so you can take the time or you can use the, uh, the timer on this um, sim, which is not that precise. I'll just use my own device. And don't forget the five Ps. So we're approaching our first, uh, we're approaching the five DME. As we do so, we will begin our turn. I'm gonna time. And now we can take this moment to twist our OBS to put ourselves established on the on 238. So that was going to be our inbound course. We're going to fly this heading for one minute. And then we are going to turn to the reciprocal or 180 degree turn to get a, ourselves established on our next phase. So there we go. We'll put a heading buck just around there we can take a look at the big picture and see how everything is uh, going so so far so good and once we reach our one minute we will initiate our turn to the right to get ourselves established on the inbound course So yeah, I totally recommend you guys to get this device. It's free, it's a really good training tool. It's really gonna help you a lot and it surely has helped me on many times. Anyways, I'm about to reach my one minute leg. So I'm gonna get ready to turn towards our next heading, which this in this case is gonna be 1903. We can take a look at the map and we can see how we are slowly but turning towards that heading I'm gonna apply the fast forward mode oops it wasn't that one there we go start our time for 45 seconds we can see how everything's shaping up which is nice and once we start reaching our 45 degree uh, sorry 45 seconds we should start turning inbound but we can see that the CDI needle is alive so we can start 
anticipating our turn. So always keep an eye on the CDI needle. And there you have it, guys. You can check one last time and see how um, precise this turn, this procedure turn is. It's very, um, it's very safe. Instead of doing a quick 360 degree turn, you get yourself established on the inbound course. And if it's, it's normally going to be some type of approach, so. We have aligned ourselves with the final approach course and we can proceed with the approach. And we can see how the to and from flag has switched. So guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Until next time.